Hey guys, it's Trophy Games or Adam, and we'll go back to another Fortnite Top 5 video. Last week, we went over 5 things that only Season 1 players can remember, and the support of the video was absolutely amazing, so I thought, why not do 5 things that only Season 2 players will remember. Now, before we jump into today's uh, Top 5, like always, guys, I want to remind you of the giveaway I'll be doing in the month of June. The month is almost over, so if you guys will want to enter into the giveaway, all you have to do is drop a like of the video, subscribe to the channel let me guys know right now in the comment section below what platform do you play Fortnite on and of course guys I'll be giving away a total of 20,000 V bucks I'll be picking all the winners at the end of the month so when I think back to the previous seasons here in Fortnite, to me, Season 2 really stands out, because that's when things really began happening with Fortnite. Obviously, towards the end of Season 1, Fortnite became popular, but in Season 2, that's when Fortnite really took off, and a lot started happening in this game. So today, guys, I want to go over five things that only Season 2 players will remember. Starting all this off, here in the number 5 spot, we have the Battle Pass, and this is where the Battle Pass really Really started in Fortnite because in season one we had the season shop we did not have a battle pass so here is when the battle pass first started and the battle pass in season two was a lot different than it was in season three or like it is now in season four so the big differences between the season two battle pass and the one we have now is the first thing is you were unable to buy the first 25 tiers like you can now so now with season four even for season three you could go in and right off the bat buy the first 25 tiers that was not an option in season two another thing is there were only 75 tiers now we have 100 and the reason why we only had 75 tiers is because there was no such thing as weekly challenges right the way to rank up your battle pass was either through levels or through completing the daily challenges and let me tell you unlocking all those tiers was such a struggle right now it's pretty easy with with the weekly challenges because there's so many ways to unlock a large amount of stars to unlock your battle pass tiers back then it was a grind and waiting for those daily challenges and ranking up it went by so slowly and unlocking all 75 tiers actually took a long time and it was quite impressive if you did so now of course guys i had to talk about the rewards you got in the season 2 battle pass and the one that stands out the most today has to be the black knight skin this is one skin that i really wish I unlocked. I was like 10 tiers off and I didn't want to pay for the tiers so I just let it go and I really regret that. Another one that really stood out to me was probably the ACDC pickaxe. I, I really wish I got that and of course you have the sparkle specialist and then of course you have the other knights as well but very awesome rewards. If you're somebody who has the black knight skin I am very jealous of you. Coming in at the number four spot on today's list I have something that goes perfectly with the season to battle pass because this happened on the same day that the battle pass was added to Fortnite, and that was the Christmas update and this is one of my favorite updates of all time I don't think we've really had such an awesome update since the Christmas update of course with season four for example we kind of have this theme of you know the aliens and the meteor coming down and crashing so it's it's a bit different but with the Christmas update it was really special the thing I love the most about this update was the map was the same right Nothing really changed on the map except all the bushes had the Christmas lights on them. And yes, that's also including the bush you could wear. It had Christmas lights on them. And then, of course, you had a bunch of Christmas trees around the map that had a bunch of chests around them. And of course, guys, we cannot forget the snowball launcher. And I mentioned the pumpkin launcher back in season one. So I thought I'd have to mention the snowball launcher in this video. This was kind of the themed weapon for the Christmas update and it is probably my favorite version of the launcher because with the snowball launcher the shots really didn't bounce all that much there was the egg launcher during the Easter update and that is pretty much a reskin of the snowball launcher except since you shot eggs it kind of worked a little bit differently the snowball launcher it was such a 
an awesome gun. The shots would like stick to whatever you shot at. And this was just such a good all around weapon. And I would love to see this gun come back. Of course guys, you can't forget about the awesome skins we had during this event as well. With the Halloween event and the Easter event, for example, we never really got a lot of skins. We only had a couple. The Christmas event had an insane amount of skins and a lot of them were really, really nice. And I'm hoping that next Christmas we're going to have a lot of these skins returned because I really wish I had bought some of these skins back when they were in the game. So coming in at the number three spot on today's list, we have to talk about the first ever shield or health potion ever added to Fortnite. And that is the mini shield. This was added actually days after the release of the battle pass and the Christmas updates. And the mini shield has made such a big impact on Fortnite. And today it's something that's used so much. I had to mention it in today's video. So before mini shields were added to Fortnite, there really wasn't much for shields and anything to do with health, right? You had the bandages, you had a med kit, you had a slurp juice, and of course you had the regular shield. The mini shield was the first new thing in that category and man were these things really good and when mini shields were first added into Fortnite, people were really complaining about these things not so much anymore today there are still complaints about mini shields i know but back when it was first added into Fortnite, man people were not happy about these things just because it really changed the way you played the game a huge reason why people were so upset or unhappy when the mini shields were added into Fortnite was because Prior to minis being added to Fortnite, there really wasn't much you could use to recover shield all that fast. Of course, you had slurp juice, but that went up over time. And heck, I think back then with the slurp juice, whenever you got shot, it would actually stop going up. It wouldn't continue like it does now. But besides the slurp juice, you had the full shield, which is something you would never really use in the middle of a gunfight until minis came along. With minis, if you use them properly, you could survive a gunfight no problem because you could constantly heal up and get 50 shield instantly just by popping a couple here and there. So mini shields really changed kind of Fortnite and the way it was played and people weren't too happy with that. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, I'm going to keep it going with the first and we'll talk about the very first limited time mode in Fortnite and that was 50v50. Now for those of you who are hardcore Fortnite players, you'll know that this game mode did not actually drop in season two. It came out just before uh, season two started. It was like a couple of days before. So I'm still going to have it on this list just because the majority of this game mode was played within season two. And 50v50 is a very interesting game mode. It's a lot different now. I think I just played 50v50 version 3, I believe it was, that was just in the game, and a lot has changed. Back when this game mode was first added into the game, it was hyped up like crazy, then it came out, and it was one of the most boring things ever. So a lot has changed with the 50v50 game mode. So the most recent one we had, which was version 3, you have the two battle buses going, you have that really small circle to start off the game and that really changed the pace of the game right it's a lot more intense earlier on in the game because everyone's trying to get to that really small circle you know at the start of the match so it's a lot more interesting a lot more fun but the original version was pretty much a regular game of Fortnite, like a game of squads duels or solos everyone jumps out of one bus you loot and the circle is the exact same thing again as a regular game it's bigger and smaller and smaller and smaller and it didn't really work, right? It was too much open space and only having two teams like that, having so many teammates, man, it was a really boring game mode and things wouldn't get intense until like 15 minutes into the game. It was absolutely crazy and a lot of people did not like this game mode when it first came out. Obviously, improvements have been made. I did not play version 2, but ver version 3 is a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. So coming in at the number one spot on today's list, we have have something that is really weird and really interesting and that is a 
pair of back blings here in Fortnite. Now, in order to really understand this, of course, you had to play Fortnite back in Season 2 because there are characters you unlocked or skins you unlocked in the Season 2 Battle Pass that later got back blings, okay? And these characters are the Blue Squire, which is the, I guess, default or the first skin you unlock when you bought the Season 2 Battle Pass. And then later, you would unlock the Royal Knight, which is pretty much the same skin except it's a female and a male version of these skins. Later, when skins were first added to Fortnite, which was at the start of Season 3, these older skins received back bling, and here's where things get really weird. So these two skins, the Blue Squire and the Royal Knight, literally got the exact same back blinks. This really makes no sense because it is actually the exact same shield or the exact same back bling. The only thing that changes when you look at it in the menu, it will only change the angle of the shield. It's really strange. And of course they have different names, yet they're the exact same thing. If they were gonna have the same back bling for two characters, why not just have one option instead of having two options with the exact same thing. It's a really weird thing that they did in Season 2. And for those of you who did play during that time and you did unlock these characters, go into your back bling category and you will see that you have two of the exact same back blinks. So there we have it, guys. Those are five things that only Season 2 players will remember. And I'll probably hold off on doing the Season 3 one. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But Season 3 was last season and we're currently in Season 4. So I might wait until until the beginning of season five to do that episode. But besides that, guys, if the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite's top fives, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.